welcome back to another video from Project Zero Racing. Um, I'm currently having a little bit of a problem. You guys might be able to help me here. I'm trying to find a wide arch kit for that car, and I cannot find a decent priced wide arch kit that A will fit, B will look good, and C doesn't break my absolute nuts in terms of bank. Uh, I've got behind me a Focus RS for a subframe that's going on the car. Now, the ST arches are not big enough to fit them plus my new size alloy, even with a different offset. Uh, with the tyres, I'd still scrub. Uh, and I want a wider track. I don't want to have it skinny again. I want a wider track, so it's better handling. If any of you have got any ideas, then help me out here. <laughs> uh, let me know if you can come up with anything. Um, I really don't know what to do right now. Uh, and this, this is a stopping point that's really putting a spanner in the works because without sorting the rear arches, the car isn't going to get done. Um, and I have not got a lot of time left. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. Take it easy. What's up guys, welcome back to another video from Project Zero Racing. Today I'm really, really, really excited because I finally found a solution to these thingy-mabobs back here, the rear arches. Uh, I've been searching for the last, God, uh, two, three months to try and find an effective solution to widen the rear end and today they eventually turned up. So uh, I've ordered them, they've arrived today uh, and I'm going to take them out of the box now and uh, show you what the hell they look like. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Also got to fill the kettle because uh, I got some primer and I need to prime the inside of the car, so uh, just had to warm it up a bit. Okay, you in. Yeah, boy. Let's get these bubbles out. Oh yeah, let's do this door up. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. make some very special arches for a certain uh, race series in the UK. Finally, now they are GRP fiberglass so they're super lightweight. Um, obviously weight saving is a key thing to this build. So, the rest of it out. Two very spats. Sweet. I'm seriously contemplating life right now because that is so sick. That is fully fuck. <laughs> oh my god, look at it! That is so wide. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculously wide. To the point where I'm like. Contemplating whether I actually needed it to be that wide. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Jesus Christ. Look at the look at it. What the fuck? Oh my god. But Jesus Christ. So yeah, I've got the wide arches fitted now. That is so ridiculously wide, I cannot believe that. Um I've now got to uh, work out exactly where I'm going to have to cut the arches to make sure that I can utilise all that extra space now with the wider frame of the RS running gear and also of the alloys and tyres going on as well. Um, so yeah, Jesus, oh my god, I'm going to have a meltdown. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the wide arch then. Um, I'll be doing some more bits inside, I've, um, I've just pretty much primed the whole inside of the car now. Um, we are literally this close to putting the paint on the car. Uh, I am super happy right now to the point where I'm going to do a bit more priming uh, and I'm going to sit here and contemplate life at land, see, you know, what I've just done <laughs> to this rear end because that is mental. Jesus, man. I cannot believe how wide that is. Like, that's, that's insane. That is mentally insane. What am I, what even goes through, I don't even know what goes through my mind sometimes. What the hell? 
<laughs> okay, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm now going to go and have a bit of a, uh, a mental breakdown uh, and just sit here and contemplate life. Thank you for watching again. Uh, I was super excited about this video. Um, and I'm super excited about showing you guys exactly what I was doing on the rear end. Oh. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. Uh, Try for now. Goodbye.